Hey peeps out in YouTube land, Asunva here, and today I wanted to talk about organizing your BJD stuff. I used to keep everything in a box. I think I still have that box. I am digging this out of the ancient um, realms, and as you can see, I uh, hot glued it. And I only had, you know, Kai and Yue back in the day, so I could easily fit everything in one tiny box. But now that my collection has grown immensely over time, I had to think of other things and other ways to organize my BJD stuff. Because now I have a whole bunch of eyes, wigs, clothes, accessories, extra doll parts, cleaning supplies, face-up stuff. I mean, I have a lot of stuff now. But I think the biggest challenge that I've had right now has been trying to organize the BJD clothes. Because one, I have a lot of clothes, uh, and two, there's so many like small pieces that I end up just really honestly just shoving everything into sandwich bags and I don't want to do that anymore. So today I thought it'd be fun to kind of uh, show you my new organization system that I'm going to be setting up and then kind of do a quick little fast forward of me uh, putting it together and then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna like showcase it to you guys and then maybe it'll give you an idea um, on organizing your stuff. Uh, but yeah, let me show you the old stuff, the old, old, and then I'm gonna show you the good, good. So this is actually my current setup, and I, like I said, have everything in sandwich bags or little boxes, and each drawer, I kind of tried to label them. That's supposed to be an MS, but then I didn't have a D sticker. <laughs> it's a hot mess, okay, and that's a W, but I flipped it around. Guys, work with me. Okay, so I want to transfer all this stuff into this storage bin system and I have a label maker and what I'd like to do is I'm going to try to see if I can kind of put them, lay them into the trays and uh, maybe do like uh, categorize them. Definitely I do want to keep with the SD, MSD, USD labels and since they're in different colors I'm thinking that maybe I'll categorize it by color and identify it like as, you know, green bins or SD items, orange bins or MSD items, like, I don't know. But this is what I'm gonna convert it to and we'll see how it goes. Get ready for some magic as I transfer all these items into these bins. So I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm actually really excited about this new setup that I have. Um, it did take a good amount of time because I had a lot of stuff and I was trying to organize it so that way I could keep um, BJD items that were for like that category of size of whatever they are like together. Um, and doing this, I've discovered a lot about things that I'm missing, like that I need or that I don't really have a lot of uh, for particular size categories. You'll notice that I actually have a one, two, three, four. All four of these are SD sized things. 
I know I, I really honestly do tend to favor buying things from my SD size dolls. But the thing that makes me really sad is this drawer right here, is that I really don't have a lot of Yo SD size clothing, and these were made um, by friends, and then this one I made, and it's poorly made. Uh, and these two are, I'm not even really sure if they fit my OSD size dolls, but I'm gonna, that's one of the things I wanna do is I wanna try on some of these clothes on my dolls to make sure that I have them in the right drawers. But yeah, that just tells me I really don't have a lot of variety for like my smaller dolls and that kinda makes me sad. I'm like, man, like I wanna pay more attention to them or something. My MSD clothing also, yeah, is also very uh, limited. I have gifts, like handmade things that people have made for me, but I really don't have like that much in MSD clothing either, which is surprising because I actually have probably more MSD dolls than I do SD dolls. So you'd think I would have like more MSD clothing, but I really don't. Uh, I also learned that I have a surplus of scarves and hats. <laughs> like, I am in no shape, way, or form in need of BJD scarves or hats anymore. I have so many, and there's some back here too, things to choose from, which is really neat. Um, and it makes me want to put them on my dolls, especially uh, since winter is coming up. I think it'll be really nice having things organized this way, uh, and it'll help me encourage changing my dolls more often um, and kind of getting to play with them more. I hope this helped. Maybe if you were thinking uh, or trying to think of ways to organize your BJD clothing, I do have my previous shelf and some other organizing things on my Amazon list that you're more than welcome to check out that I've used um, as far as keeping my BJD stuff organized. I hope you guys have a dolly-tastic day and I'll check you guys out in another video soon. Bye!